Hello, everyone. This is your Sunday evening KRQE.com webcast. Here's Ian Schwartz with a quick look at the forecast. Quite a uh, wintry like start to the Monday. Uh, we have a storm system making its way through California. It'll arrive here late tonight, and what it'll bring is a mix of rain and snow starting from west, making its way to the north and east. Um, and then some areas, mountain areas, have a better chance for snow accumulation anywhere from three to seven inches and lesser amounts at lower elevations. So the storm will make its way across the state overnight. And on Monday night, we will switch from rain to all snow. So areas in the Northeast can expect uh, some light accumulations with snow showers, even seeing those snow showers linger into Tuesday AM. So Raton could be waking up to some snow. But as we get into Wednesday, things will clear up pretty quickly and a nice week ahead, uh, even in here in Albuquerque. Uh, mainly rain for us, though, but sunshine after the storm passes through for for the rest of the week. Thank you, Ian. Sheriff's investigators have released more information in a crash that left two people dead and five others injured last night on Interstate 40, 10 miles west of Albuquerque. Killed in the crash was an 11 year old passenger, Ileana Palacio, and a 50 year old passenger, Silvio Mendoza. The injured include three other adults and two children. Sheriff's officials say the driver of the SUV had either stopped or slowed down after missing the exit for the Route 66 casino and making a U turn. Minutes later, the vehicle was rear ended by a semi truck going 70 miles an hour. Right now, speed and alcohol do not appear to be factors in the crash. The FBI is investigating a kidnapping case that began in El Paso and ended here in New Mexico. According to the FBI, the victim was taken from El Paso last night, where he was forced to withdraw money from some ATMs, then driven to the Albuquerque area. Sources tell News 13 the victim was able to get away and call for help from Klein's Corners this morning. A pickup truck possibly involved in that case is now at state police headquarters here in Albuquerque. Two suspects were arrested. The victim is okay. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.